इस पेटे का अथवा साइड इस पेटे का माय पेपर इज ऑन योग शास्त्र ऑफ एम चंद्राचार्य आई विल नॉट गो इनटू द डिटेल ऑफ एम चंद्राचार्य इज एवरीबडी स्पीक्स अबाउट इट सो मच सो आई जस्ट यू फ्यू दिस थिंग अबाउट इट योग सर्वी पदावी लाभता ने करसूसी अमूल मंत्र तंत्र च कर्म निवृत्तिशीयम योग इज लाइक ए शार्प एज एक्स फॉर द टेंगल ऑफ कीपर्स ऑफ ऑल कैलामिटीज इट इज अ सुपर नेचुरल मीन्स फॉर अटेनिंग द हैप्पीनेस ऑफ लिब्रेशन विदाउट द यूज ऑफ मेडिकल हर्ब्स स्पेस और ट्रांसरिंग टीचिंग्स द एसेंस ऑफ योग इन ब्रेफ most of the canonical scriptures have defined yoga as synchronization of mind and body that is organizing every activity of mind speech and body in conscious and skillful manner so that neither the self nor others are harmed knowingly or unknowingly this this in common parlance and literally also is dhyan thus yoga and dhyan are synonymous meditation is not equal into dhyan as it is restricted to certain codified and ritualized practice for a limited period of ranging from few minutes to few hours whereas dhyan is awareness mindfulness for all the time every moment every act lord mahavir's reply to the principal disciple of gautam jayam chare chithe jayam ase jay saye jay bhujanto vasantano kamman bandai walk stay speak sleep eat carefully and consciously and seal will not be committed the word yog is from the root uh, sanskrit word root yuj which means union union is a cosmic phenomenon as every consciousness of the universe every living organism from microbe to elephant and every atom is intellect interrelated and interdependent with each other in cosmic chronology yog is contemporary with cosmos without beginning and end the whole universe evolving and changing real and existing in myriad manifestations defining all assumptions fantasies sermons and exhortation by some major philosophers rejected as maya mirage and since the very beginning of indian civilization vedic and jain cultures have been concurrent interacting reinforcing and enriching each other as in vedic literature the term yoga with its varied implication usage and practice in one form or other is found in jain ancient canonical scriptures classified and grouped as 12 angs of which the 12th yang comprises 14 purvas oldest scripture acharan sutrang uh, acharan sutrakutang samyagam contains references regarding yoga but the contents of yoga were scattered in jain stream all the scholars notable acharya haribhadra suri acharya hemchandra suri subchandra suri upadhe yashoviji vijay ji and others systematically compiled and wrote treatises exclusively on yoga among those the acharya hemsuri's yoga shastra is very comprehensive <coughs> no acharya uh, hemchandra suri uh, says that i have composed this yoga upanishad or yoga shastra from the oceans of scriptures and the tradition of a good teacher and from personal experience for king kumar pal the dynasty of chalukya the yoga shastra with its voluminous auto commentary the uh, swapnagna vritti is the most comprehensive treatise on swetambar jainism known to us the fundamental doctrines and basic structure hemchandra's account of jainism consists of a systematic presentation of a set of ideas and practices originally belonging to the swetambar canonical scriptures shruti and tradition sampraday but molded by hemchandra into a coherent with the help of the intellectual efforts of long row of scholastic thinkers including guma sati and hari pradha suri he has also integrated innovation of his as well uh, non jain elements of pan indian and sai province attesting to a strong tantric uh, tantric influence on medieval jainism some of these elements came to the perpetually included within swetambar orthopexy uh, and right conduct and orthodoxy due to the normative status that came to be acquired by the yoga shastra mm. the first three chapters constitute a summary of three jewels the second uh, title given to the work is yog yog upanishad it starts with the venerative verse mangal addressed to the last jain or the tithankar mahavir who as an embodiment and commentator of the eternal jain teachings of samyak darshan 
नमो दुर्वारगा दीवे रविवा निवारणे अर्हते योगिनाथ मारिये ताइने दिस इज ही बोस्ट टू द मावीर एंड लाइक्स दिस आई हैव टू फिनिश फास्ट रेस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स आर बीइंग ऑलरेडी टोल्ड बाय द अदर सो आई एम कंक्लूड नॉट सेइंग दैट and i am coming to the yes, last sir. chapter which is a uh, important says, yes doctor. okay uh, seven chapter se opens with a depiction of the qualification of a meditator followed by a patrol of the first of four kinds of meditation cataracts as virtuous meditation dharmadhyan the other three varieties are outlined in chapter 8 9 and 10 respectively and have as their objects holy syllabus for the external characteristics roop and the intrinsic nature to patit of the jin in addition to imagine objects pinned distincting of the first variety presented in chapter 7 in the 12th uh, and the last chapter hemrachandra suri presents his own experience so, uh, some ways some ways in a couched in a nomenclature unknown to the rest of the work he has highly formalized personal narrative gravities around the practice of meditation as defined by uttarayana sutra and the tatva sutra in the terms of the cessation and the acti- of the activity of the mind nirodh chit nirodh this conforms with the earliest known definition of yog found in a katham katha upanishad and systemized in the classical yog tradition with which the shetambar jains of gujarat also shared various cult centers Yog Shastra of Acharya Hemchandra which deals with the science of yog contains the secret of external methods of concentration or dhyan such as pindastha dhyan padastha dhyan the rupastha dhyan and the rupati dhyan the secret of the breath control entering under the body and the means of knowing about impending death this work also reveals the art of living virtuous life by communicating the secrets of variety various teachings of life the yog shastra of acharya hemchandra is by all means the best work on the majesty of rajyog thank you <laughs>